Hey guys, I'm back. Yep, I'm back again. Y'all probably like, what? A double upload? She's uploading consistently? Yep, I'm uploading consistently. Say no. But yeah, no, I am back with another video. And as you can see from the title, we are doing all things hair today. So um, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys how I straighten my curly hair. So we're going to go from this to this. Okay, so I started off washing my hair today with the Pantene Pro V, with the Pantene Pro V Daily Moisture Renewal Shampoo. So basically, I take a couple of pumps of this. Okay, so I wash my hair three times with shampoo and then I condition it. The reason why I use Pantene, I know some of you are probably thinking that is really bad for hair. It has sulfate in it, all that stuff or whatever that's supposed to not be good for your hair. But honestly, it doesn't do anything bad to my hair that I've noticed. I just really like it because it lathers a lot and I like that because I like to know that I'm actually getting into the hair and really soaping it up and washing it like the i've tried sulfate free ones and they don't lather as much so i never feel like i'm washing my hair i'm just using it over and over and over again and i don't know if my hair is clean so like i don't know i just like shampoos that lather so if you guys have some that i can use that lather that are sulfate free or better for curly hair let me know in the comments below because I want to check those products out. So after um, washing my hair with shampoo, I go in with the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner. It has avocado in it and Australian jojoba oil. And it's paraben-free. I love, 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 love this conditioner. It is the best conditioner. Um, I, I deep condition my hair before I uh, go in to straighten it just because I want my hair to be really, like, you know, moisturized and I feel like it protects my hair. I don't know why, I just do. I just... So, now that I have washed my hair, I take it out of my little towel. This towel is the best. It has a little thingy right here. I got this from Target. Two came in a pack. Um, and basically the top is bigger than the bottom. It's like a hood. And then it has this little small and narrow tail. And you just throw your head inside with your hair in it. So I'll just show you guys. You just throw your hair down. You put this on top. And then you put all your hair inside and just twist back and then you tie it like that. But my hair has been in this for about three hours, no, two hours. Um, so my hair is pretty much dry, not dry, it's damp. For the most part so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, blow dry it so what I do first is I get a comb like this and I just part my hair down the middle Okay, like so, and then I'll just take my finger and drag, and just put them into two sections. So, I'll put this side into a bun, this is the 44 iron guard it's a thermal protection guard protection it's a thermal protection spray i got this at marshall's for 11.99 so that was a steal but this is really good so i'm going to be using this and i'm just going to spray it 
onto my damp hair. You can use it on dry hair or um, damp hair. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I like to put the heat spray in before I put any type of heat in my hair. So that's what we're going to start with. I'm just going to, a little goes a long way. It makes your hair a tad bit, um, dry, I mean not dry, oily once you do straighten your hair so you don't want to put too much. So I'm going to be using this blow dryer. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have finished blow drying my whole head. Um, as you can see, it's not like super bone straight or blow dried or whatever. Like I just do it until it's dry. Like it's never ever going to be like not have ridges in it and stuff like that just because my hair is naturally curly until I straighten it. The next step is pretty simple. I'm just going to start straightening my hair, but what I like to do is, since it's already parted down the middle, you want to make sure that you part it in the position that you're going to want to wear it. So if you're going to, if you like side parts, you might want to part your hair um, in the side part right now. But for me, I like middle parts. I just leave it in the middle part, but I'm just going to trace that middle part back. And I'm just going to split my hair into two again. And then I'm going to take this. So I'm going to be taking my Chi straightener. This is the Chi Air. Um, I like that you can control the settings of um, how hot you want to keep your hair. So I'm go I always put mine on 410. I keep mine on 410 because I need it to be the hottest. So, just because I feel like since my hair is so curly, the lower temperatures don't get my um, hair as um, straight as I like it. So, I do 410 all the time, but you can choose to do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. This is just what I prefer to do because I've been doing this for a really long time now, ever since I got my big chop. And I make sure I put heat protect on it, I make sure I take care of it, um, I make sure I tie it up at night, all of that. So it never really damages my curls once I wash it and I'm back to my natural. It looks the same, feels the same, nothing really feels different, my ends don't feel disgusting. And I always make sure that I'm getting my... Um, trims every now and then and also my deva cut stylist did tell me that i was able to straighten my hair moderately so that's what i've been doing well, i'm not a hair expert or anything this is just what works for me so if you feel like your hair is gonna get damaged from putting heat on it every now and then don't do it because i'm not going to be the reason why you mess your hair up or whatever it is it's, i'm going to section my hair so basically what i do is i my hair up. I take a very thin layer. And then this is the most prized possession in my routine because clips are so easy. You just put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of going back and forth, and having a hair tie would be so time consuming as stupid as that sounds, there's actually a difference between clipping and putting a hair tie on the bun that you're wrapping up. I've done it both ways and that way is way slower. This is just so much easier. You can get this clip at any little hair store anywhere, honestly. Sally's Beauty Salon or whatever. Sally's Beauty hair store, whatever the fuck that place is called, yeah, you can get it there in packs, I have a million of them all over the house, so, yeah, I just take down my hair, and I just straighten it, and I just make sure, I try not to go over it too many times, because that's when you start damaging your hair, but, Make sure you're getting your little baby hairs back there. See how easy that was? I just straightened it. 
and that's that and then you just take your clip out and you take another piece and so just to make sure that you don't mix up the hair that isn't straightened with the hair that is I always pull the hair that's straightened to the front like this piece to the front and I lay that there and then I put the piece that I'm not straightening it to the back and once we get to our ear is when things are going to change up but let me just do this and wait till we get to the ear and I'll be right back okay guys so I what I did was I just straightened my hair all the way up to where the leftover hair that I have to straighten on this side reach levels up with my ear so what I mean is this is the stuff the hair that I already strand so now we just do the air air measure test and what I do is I'm going to turn to the side I take my finger and I put it at the end of where my hair that I still have to straighten is and I go down and if it reaches my ear which it does I change the way I'm straightening it so after that I'll go this way like after that I'll go let me get a comb so you guys can see I'll go down this way now instead of going back because now everything is going to be between here and here so I don't have to reach all the way back there so it makes it easier for me. I hope that made sense guys. See what I mean? It's just this little bit. It doesn't go further in the back. It's all right here so it's easier to just go down, down, down and then your hair will be really flat which we want our hair to be late. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Look at this. So we're going to keep doing this until I'm done this side. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I am completely done. My whole head took forever, but I'm glad with how it looks. It came out really nice and shiny, and like I said, laid. Like I like it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this humidity control hair serum that I have here. Um, It's really humid outside today, and... I just also like to put a little bit of um, oil on my ends because I don't want them to be so I start off at the bottom but I do this because I don't want my ends to look dry it's my pet peeve when people edges look their ends look dry because they didn't put no oil on it like ew so thank you guys for watching um if you guys want to see more tutorials like these how i do things with my hair my natural hair straight hair let me know in the comments below and i'd be glad to answer you guys because it took me a while to figure out how to treat my hair the best way especially because i'm still trying to get it to grow longer to back to its original length so thank you guys for watching i hope i taught you guys something i hope i helped you out in some way um please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it please don't forget to share the video and subscribe thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye